All right, so I'm exploring using um, GitHub to automatically mirror some of the work repositories that I have over on GitHub. Um, GitHub has been kind of my de facto uh, for, for repositories for a long time. And I, I have some over on some open source, uh, well, more open source um, servers as well. But for the collaboration tools and uh, the CI stuff and a lot of the integrations, I've been sticking with GitHub. Now, they are run by Microsoft now. So, you know, there's some questionability there. Um, I'm not as concerned as many people are, but regardless, it's good to have backups of your backups. So I checked out GitLab again. Um, I had blown away my GitLab account a while back when they were doing some shady stuff as well. But anyway, I recreated it and I realized that they have this new feature or I don't know how new it is. They have a feature to mirror repositories automatically, which will automatically pull uh, or push changes from another repository, even across systems. So that sounded good. And um, it looks like on the free plan, it will do only push. So I'm using the bronze level plan, which is, uh, I think it's like $44 a year. Um, this is professional work, so I can afford $44 a year. Um, to take my business repositories that I'm doing and, and have a backup that's going to happen regularly. So I wanted to document a little bit about how I set that up because it's not obvious right away. Um, and I had to do a little bit of shenanigans to get it working. So I'm going to walk you through uh, one of these that I'm mirroring. So let's see this. Um, well, I'll talk about the failed thing here in a minute. Uh, let's see here. Let's go down to this one. Dialopan S. We're going to go to this project um, in a new tab. And then I'm going to go down to the settings and I'm going to go to repository. That's where the, the mirroring repository settings are. So I expand those and it wants my Git repository URL. It wants it in HTTP, HTTPS, this is H or Git. Um, interesting here is if you if you're doing http or https it's going to try to get you to use password auth which uh no not going to do that um so i'm going to go over here and i'm going to find my dialopan dialopan repo uh okay can i not type let's go back here find a repository dialopan Okay. <laughs> Am I in the wrong place? Let's see here. Repositories. There it is right there. I don't know what's going on with my search. Anyway, I wanted to grab that because I want to get the typical SSH key connection line here. And I'm going to come back over and I'm going to paste this in and this will not work. Um, if I were to tab out of here, it's going to give me a red box because that's not a correct SSH uh, URL. And if I add SSH, well, that's also not a correct one. I actually have to get this colon here and replace it with a slash. So that's a little bit manual, and there is an issue log about it, but, um, you know, save you some time. All right, now I do want to uh, set this up to pull. Basically, my GitLab is going to be a backup. I don't want to have to log in here and think about it. I just want to have all of these repositories automatically backing up just in case something happens on GitHub. So I'm going to click detect host keys to automatically do that. Yep, that's fingerprint all right. And then I'm going to set it to use this SSH public key. Now, I cannot provide a public key. It's going to generate one for me, which is actually good because I'm going to set that up um, unique to each repository. Saves me a little bit of security, although it's all... I mean, it's all at one endpoint here in GitLab. So technically, if somebody can get into GitLab, they can get a bunch of access to my stuff. Um, now, I don't plan on working directly in GitLab, uh, but if I were to accidentally do something here, that would create a diverging branch. That's not good. I'm going to just click this to override them. This should be purely uh, for, for mirroring. Uh, and I don't have any workflows on this end, so I'm not going to trigger any pipelines. And I certainly don't want to mirror only production branches. I want, I want everything. So I'm going to click on mirror repository now, and it will drop down here and show me that, hey, it's going to connect here, and it's going to do a pull. Now, I have to copy this public key that it just created here, go back over to my repo, click on settings, then go to my deploy keys, 
And yes, I have one in DigitalOcean. I'm going to add a new deploy key here and then say this is my GitLab mirror. And I'll paste that key in. All right, now the key is set. I can I can do some awesomeness with it. Hey, look, I got an email. There's a new key. Now back over here, uh, this is a different one. Where were we? We were here. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. All right. Um, this is going to fail the first time it runs because it actually started running that pull before it let me copy the key and then put the key over on GitHub. Um, so this is going to fail. And that brings us back to why we see it failed and failed and failed and failed. Uh, you see, this one says done. That's because I've done this extra step now. Now, oh, sorry, I don't want to do this. This is the Abbott email. So let's go to my projects. We go to Abbott emails, which are right down here. We're going to go back into the repository settings. Oh, actually, let me show you this real quick. Uh, any project that you have set up for mirroring will have the mirrored uh, SSH connection right here. And it'll also say, hey, look. Your mirroring failed. So I can click on that. It's the same as going to repository and then going down to the mirroring repository rules. And right here, we'll see that it hit an error. And if I hover over, that's where the error message is. Lovely that you can't copy that because it's in a tooltip. I'd have to like, inspect the page and do it. But basically, it's just a permission denied error because, again, it uh, tried to mirror the repository before I actually copy the key and set up the deploy key. So all I have to do is click update now to force an update. And uh, I'll come back in a few minutes and this will work. Uh, and I know that because my test project here that I did it on. Oops, that's going to click on the one for, um, <clears throat> for GitHub. My projects, AX to MP3. This is my little test project of this on. Pulling, uh, pull mirroring updated 10 minutes ago, and that was successful. So this works. Um, I don't need to really monitor anything here. I'm not doing it for every single GitHub um, repo that I have. I'm doing it for my work ones. Uh, so, you know, it, it really changes the scope a lot because I have so many repos over on GitHub. That would be tedious. And I have some other solutions as well. You know, a lot of the stuff that I have that's public, I also keep over on tildegit.org. Um, and I just have both remotes set up in my code locally. So when I push, I have a little alias for git push all that is not pushing all branches, but pushing to all remotes. So I can do that. Um, I haven't explored to see if Gitia or uh, any of the other self-hosted software can do this automatic mirroring, but it is a really, really killer feature. And I would hope um, if it's not already in the feature scope for some of those that they would consider it because boy, is this really, really nice to, to have a safe backup somewhere else on a, another system that's just going to have my code in case something catastrophic happens. Um, I should probably look into figuring out how to duplicate my CI over here as well, just in case, um, you know, but not have it run automatically on push, you know, it would be more of a backup again. So I don't know if that's something I'll do in the short term, but you know, this was a neat feature and I thought I should document it for everybody. So I hope that worked out and, and you enjoy it. Take care.